welcome back to my channel cobra here and today we've got another exciting soul mask video for you so for this one we're going to be going through and i'm going to show you how to get the wilderness mark mask so this is actually a pretty secret one very hard to get to and it's a very big challenge so just quick things you're going to need for preparation you're going to need an axe definitely at least bronze if not iron iron will make it a little bit easier you're going to need blunt weapons, hammer specifically, uh, at least iron. You're going to need good armor, at least iron, with poison proof 2 mods. You're going to want as much poison proof as you can get. This entire place is toxic, including inside the actual ruins dungeon itself. So you can see all four of these pieces, since these are the only ones that can, have poison proof mods on. I also have antidotes with me because the poison proof mods alone is not enough. The only exception to that is if you have the frog armor with poison proof mods on it, that is enough, but uh, I'm currently using this instead. And then you want some heals and you want a few corrosion tanks. Now I'm going to show you how to basically speed run this. Uh, my goal is to just get past it, get straight to the boss and get this mask for you. Uh, granted, I have done this a few times, sometimes successful, sometimes goes absolutely terribly wrong. So I'll show you, I brought a backup armor set. If we go in here, I've got my frog set with the poison proof mods, an antidote, an extra hammer, a few bandages, and a few more of these. So if I die, I can actually grab that and get back. So we're going to go ahead and head down here. I'll show you where we are on the map. You can see we're way over here to the left. The scout for this area is right here. And then we're going to this holy ruins right here. So you're going to want to come to this spot right here. This is where we're going to start. And we're basically going to run through here to this. So this is the line of where you can put a campfire. It kind of stinks about 230 meters away. So you can see, or 270. You can see there's the mark right there. There's my campfire. So we're going to go ahead and head down here. You're going to want to watch out for snakes and scorpions and frogs as well. I've got an ostrich so I can just yeet myself off cliffs. Makes it nice and easy. These ostriches are honestly my favorite thing because I don't have to worry about fall damage. And they're pretty quick. So we're going to run in. And you want to be careful because if you actually get inside the cave, the ostriches and whatever animals you may have will take poison damage. So you can't bring them in. You have to actually run this cave yourself. So that right there is going to be very fun for us. We're going to park this dude right here. And I'm going to pop an antidote that gives me 10 minutes. And we're going to run through. So you can see on the right side, I've got the poisonous frog and, or sorry, poisonous fog and poisoned debuff. So, but I'm not taking any damage because I have my, um, because I have my antidote and my poison proof mods. So you can see there's a lot of things in this cave that want to kill you. So we're just going to kind of run through. Like I said, I'm going to show you the fastest route, the, as I call it, speed run route. Because I don't feel like actually making you guys watch me kill the entire cave here. So once you get to this point, you're going to run straight towards what looks like a ruins over here. There's an elite arrow poison frog right there. We're just going to ignore everything here. Pull out an axe. Make sure you have stamina. Because this is where this is the secret part. We have to chop this down. Now this takes a lot of chopping. But you want to pay attention to your surroundings because if things get close to you, they're going to attack you, and that's not good. But it looks like I was successful in losing them all. You can see how much it actually takes to chop this down. Finally, we chopped it down, but there's still a ton of stuff over here. You're going to hear the ping ping the whole time because there's a million things in here. So this is the harder of the two walls you're going to have to chop down because... The things actually will catch you up to you here. And you can see they hit pretty hard when they do. So I'm just going to run away. We've got those guys down there. I'm going to try and pull them out. Because the more I can pull them out, the easier this is going to be. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can do this. And we're going to flank them. And we're going to sprint back here. You can see there's already scorpions lining up over here. Give it a few more chops. 
and once things get close, you're going to run away. So you got to pay really good attention to this. You can see I'm passively taking a little bit of damage from the bite of one of these things. But 11 is much better than what it would be without all these poison proof. You'll take like over 100 per tick, so... Yeah, you can see there's a lot of these things in here. So we're going to run, 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 run. And it does not get any more fun when you get through. Ooh, that hurt. So one thing I will recommend to you, though, um, a lot of people, their initial thought would be, let's bring a team into this dungeon. I actually do not recommend it at all because the boss is easier to do the less amount of people you have. Two is definitely better than doing it with more than two, but <coughs> even then, it's easier with one person than it is with two. How many more do I need? Come on. Oh, I broke it. Okay. So you can see I finally broke this. So now I've got scorpions on me. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to run right this way. And we're going to put this axe away. I'm going to need to uh, soon find a spot to heal. Because my health is starting to get low. I've been hit a bunch of times. So we're going to see if we can heal right here. Honestly, the hardest part of this, aside from the boss itself, is just getting through those vine walls. So once you come to this bridge, you go to the right. There's a little bridge down here. I don't even know how I got hit jumping over that, but uh, we're going to go to the right here as well. And you can see it looks like it's actually not too crazy right now. Sometimes there's a lot more of these things. But we're going to run at this point to the left. And once you see this bridge right here, you know you're going the right way. Because where we're going is right up there. So make sure you have stamina. These guys suck, so you want to just run past them. Honestly, if you're running, they're probably not going to hit you. So that makes it very easy. I mean, look at that. I just ran past like 30 of them. Alrighty. You can't get me, suckers. So look at all these scorpions right here. You want to be careful. This is the front door. So we're going to jump them. And we're going to open this. And then we're going to turn around and run. This gives time for the door to open. We're going to run through. Now we're going to hit the actual dungeon itself. At this point, you want to check your antidote on the right side. Make sure you still have enough time on it. I've still got five minutes. We're good. At this point, most of the bugs should be off of me. So, at this point, now we're in the robot territory. You're going to go to the left, skip the first one. And you can see this staircase right here. This is where we're going to be going. So, second staircase on the left. I'm basically going to show you how to get straight to the boss. Granted, I got lost in this. I spent so long trying to make it through this place. That's the only reason I actually learned it. I've been here probably four or five times on separate occasions. Killed the boss a handful of times. So, But as of right now, actually, if I'm not wrong, only my buddy, who, like my teammate and I, have actually completed this. Um, this was given to us to get the mask as one of the content creator challenges. Um, currently, we're play I'm playing on a closed beta version of it. The game releases in a few days on the 31st. So this is where it gets really dangerous here. We have to get to here, and we got to open this. But yeah, there's lasers. So that's what sucks. I got the door open, so once you get it open, you run through. Make sure to dodge and weave. You can see I already took down to half health. I'm going to use one of these cream things. Luckily, this hallway is long enough that they will eventually just ignore you. Okay, once you get to this point, you should be good. I'm going to heal up. And... Here we've got two options. Do not go to the left, go to the right. This is going to be the boss room. So you're going to open this. 
and there's your boss right there. So you can see for the boss, really, the only thing that deals damage is a hammer. Everything else does not, or deals very minimal. So we're going to eat some roasted corn, boost our defense, eat some premium jerky, which will boost our health and our attack, and... And we're going to start healing. Still got two minutes on my antidote, but you got to keep an eye on that. So one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get as close as you can before he notices you. So the boss seems to already have noticed me. Wow, that was miserable. I don't know how he noticed me before I even made it into the room, basically. Um, so we're going to heal up. Be careful, because he will actually come way too far in. So we're going to let him reset. <coughs> so you can see, that was actually a really close one. Especially because I'm doing this solo. I'll show you in a second why you want to do this solo. But uh, what we're going to do, so make sure he's reset. We're going to use this, which will actually give us damage reduction for a short period of time. And we're going to run in as close as we can get to him. There we go. So now we're right in front of him. That's where you want to be. He does that. He's going to charge you. Oh, that's the one you want to watch out for. He'll open it up. If you have one person, he'll only shoot one laser. So it's easy to dodge. If you have multiple, then he'll do more. So I'm currently not doing well at all. Is a rough start. We're going to throw a corrosion tank. That's actually going to allow us to deal more damage to him. So he almost just killed me. That was really bad. So he's going to currently spin in a circle. You can get a few hits on him as he does this. I'm going to use another one of these creams. Try and get my health up. So you want to keep in mind your stamina is very important in this fight. When he does that, you want to dodge as soon as possible. And you want to stay really close up on him. Because the farther back you get, it literally is impossible after a certain point. So anytime he's going to do attack, you wait to see what it is. He does that, you back up. Charge attack. Gives a double. So I don't know if that's a glitch, but when you use a charge attack with a hammer, a lot of times it'll actually count as hitting him twice. Oh, so you can see uh, I ran out of my antidote, so I'm actually going to drink this before I start passively dying. So there we go. That's how it should be. You just dodge to the side. You can see he's doing it again. What's he doing now? He's going to do that, which means we're going to back up. I didn't think that was going to hit. What's he going to do now? So he's going to do the spinny laser. I don't mind this one a whole lot, because like I said, you hit, you run. You hit, you dodge. You hit. Just free hits at this point. But one thing you will notice is this is a long fight. There is no short, like... I mean, if you have max level hammers skill with like a steel hammer, you might be able to get through pretty quick, but it takes a while. You can see I haven't even gotten a quarter of his health down. What's he going to do now? He's going to do another one of these. So you can see this is kind of the pattern you need to get into. You just got to learn his attacks. And... It's going to take you some time to chip him down, but uh, it's not too hard once you get in the hang of it. Just took a lot to get here. For some reason, he likes to do this attack. Now, one thing I will tell you, the attack where he does the single laser, it homes in on you if you're near that side. And every person that's in there will do another laser. So, that one right there. So if there's three people, he will shoot from three different sides. If there's four, he'll shoot three lasers. Or sorry, he'll shoot four lasers, but only from three sides. So there's always one. 
but it makes it a lot easier if you do this solo just because... Ooh, that was really bad. I thought that was going to be the laser one. I messed up. So it's always easier to do it eat one because, well, look at that. He only shoots one laser. So, oh crap, that was not the right side. That looks like he put up the other side. So he almost just killed me. That would have been really bad. So we're going to go to this side. And what do we got? Okay. So one thing I need to be better at that I will recommend to you guys when doing this. Um, stand towards the middle of the side when you're waiting to see what attack he does. Just makes it a little easier because then you know for sure which side he's going to be doing. If you stand at the corner, it, sometimes it's hard to tell which one. So... But yeah, you basically do this, and you just sit here and you chip him down. We are at least a quarter of the way done. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch the entire fight, but uh, so I'll go ahead and skip forward a little bit for you until we get a little closer to finishing. It's just going to be the same thing over and over again. Hopefully I don't die. There, got my stuff back. We're gonna switch this out. There we go. Now I got my good hammer back. And so he is mostly healed, not entirely. Oh, that's gonna hurt. So that's actually the move that killed me last time. If you're not careful, that can hit you for literally thousands of damage. So, like I was going to do last time, I'm going to go ahead and skip until we are a lot closer. Because otherwise this video is going to be like 45 minutes long. So you can see I've gotten him down all the way. So one thing I forgot to mention last time. So if you do a charge attack, there's a glitch where it hits twice. And it doesn't matter how long you charge it up for. So you actually will deal a lot more damage by doing one charge attack than by doing two normal attacks. So you can see that's the way to do it is you just charge attack him. Just make sure you always have stamina. Because that one will melt you. You can see he is just about toast. Back up. I'm not getting killed again with that one. <laughs> that was my mistake last time. That one, I should not have been in the corner for that. That's what almost got me killed. But you can see he is toast. And there we go. From this, we get mysterious metal chunks, metal plates, 
crystals. There's a golden relic key. So we're going to take all of that. And we're going to head over here. So over here, we've got ancient relic chests. Crystal. I don't even know how to... Chalcadani Jade, which is used for some of the upgrades. Meteorite Ore, Mysterious Alloy, Blood Crystal, Water Worship Container. That's a lot of really good items. And then we'll go over to this side. And you can see we can get a lot of also pretty good items. Now once you actually come in here, this is where you're going to get the real reason we are here. It'll actually let me climb. There we go. So you can see with the frog frog set that has all this poison resist, we really, because if you look at the thing down at the bottom, um, we have 20% poison proof plus 10% on each piece. We have a ton of poison resistance on this. And then with the full set, you get an extra 50%. So that comes out to 110% actually with what I have. So that's why I'm not taking any damage and I don't even have to use any antidotes. My other armor set I did just to push it over because it was only at 40. So this is the real room. You can get the mysterious t stone tablet as well as the cloning machine if you don't already have that. But by this point, I'm guessing most of you should. We're going to open the golden holy relic in here. And you can see, look at this. Pick up Wilderness Mark. There we go. Now this right here, the Wilderness Mark, is what's going to unlock you this mask here. You just have to take it to the Mysterious Stone Tablet that is back at your house, and you can get it there. So we're going to get this now. We're going to take all of these. So you can see, I mean, just, I haven't done anything except beat the boss, and I got Mysterious Alloy, Meteorite, or got all of these other resources that are very good. Got these ones right here, which I'll show you that right there. Gives me crystal limit increase. So there's a lot that uh, you can get from here. So now I'm going to show you real quick the way out. And actually, before I do that, let me show you what this mask does. The wilderness mark is actually for archery. You can see right here, probing range is increased. So you can see things further away. Crit damage increased. Uh, arrows can rebound after hitting a hard surface, bow precision increase, uh, arrow speed by increase, damage increase for bows. Here we have firing increase as well as, in mimicry mode, arrows have homing devices. So if you want to be an archer, this is the mask you need. You can see there's also lots of iron in here, but it is most definitely the best mask for an archer. No doubt about it. So now to get back, you're going to just go straight through here. This is going to find you right back to where we started. Uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. Where we started the dungeon. This is the front door right here. So we're going to run this way. And at this point, some people like to play it safe and they'll actually run all the way back. I will just drop right here. It took a little bit of damage, but uh, I don't plan on getting really hit at all. So, see, there's no enemies right here. I'm just going to grab this chest. So from this chest, you know, we're getting more premium claws, more jade, more green crystals. These are a lot of things that you really struggle to find in other places. I didn't even know where to get jade or meteorite, mysterious alloy, a lot of that stuff. I had no idea. Until I came in here, and then I managed to get pretty much all of it. So that is definitely a plus to being in here. So this is the part where it gets a little hard. Uh, you can either just fall, or you can land on this tree. If you jump straight into the water, even it doesn't count you as swimming because you're just tall enough. And I'm all the way short. So like I have my shortness as high as it'll go. So regardless... You know, if anyone could avoid taking damage, it would be me. But you still take quite a lot of damage from doing that fall. Which is why I do not recommend it. So, we're going to run back this way. 
you can see we're going to get back. This is where that elite frog is over there. And same thing as last time. We're just going to run all the way through. We've got pretty much everything we need. Uh, if you ever actually feel like fighting, this is a really... Like, there is a ton of iron in here. You could fill up completely. Just be careful because your mounts do take passive damage if you try and bring one in here. But that is the dungeon, and that is how you get the Wilderness Mark. So like I said, as of right now, um, if I'm not mistaken, there are only a handful of us who have actually completed this because it is very difficult and also pretty hidden. Um, I actually had a hard time finding it because I didn't know you could get through those vines. And it doesn't tell you you found the ruins until you're actually through that. But here we go. We have now finished this. And we're just going to hop right back on this. And we're going to head out. So I hope this video was helpful. We just got the Wilderness Mark Archery Mask. Um, for content creators, this was one of the challenges that earned us a key to the game, the early access version. So that was a pretty cool thing that we were able to do. Um, shout out to uh, my buddy Miri, who is my teammate. He actually helped me find this place, told me about it, and then I was able to find the entrance the first time. Uh, he's gone through it with me a couple of times as well. Uh, he does his live. So if you feel like watching live on Twitch, you can check his out. But here we are. We made it all the way out of there, and we got this new mask. So hope this is helpful. If you have any questions about anything related to this, please let me know. And if you want any specific videos or anything about this game, also please let me know. I'm happy to accommodate, to help people. I'm here to help you guys learn the game, but also try and make it a little bit entertaining. I'm going to be trying to throw up a few fun videos and things, maybe some extra bloopers or jokes and stuff. But I uh, hope this is helpful, and please give me a like and subscribe if this video was helpful to you. I'm trying to grow my channel. The more support I get, the more videos I'm able to put up for you guys. So please support me here, share this with your friends, and I will see you next time.